Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLEP. It's Friday the 16th of July. We have some more mods. We have a load of updates today. Uh, they are as follows. Top left, the Gvernland TLD91 by Camus and Solans. The Massive Ferguson 5700S SL by Blauer. The Gold Production Pack by Farmer Marnie. The Small Polish Cowshed by Pan Simono. The Buildings Pack by Michal 6920. The Seasons Geo for Riverside Farms by Missy B. The Fent Vario 900 Gen 6 Mai 2020 by Bayern Agri. The 1120 series by ZT Modding Senior Vertex and Miotto Modding. The Lizard T25A T30A80 by Viznaya Games 239. The Maxion 9000 series by Conta Camigo Modding. And the Lizard 1600 by McKnight G have all had updates today. Quite excited about the gold production pack by Farmer Manu, the industrial version. That's pretty cool. We'll have to have a look at that at some point. Now, in front of me, we've got the Cow Shed. This by Tomacek and Rafael5211. 12.88 megabytes download. 13 slots on console. It holds 30 cows. It's seasons ready and manure system ready as well now to the side yeah. we have got some garage space and we do have lighting drive through on that side very nice this side this is where your dialog box is i say it will hold 30. i managed to get water to fill up from this side top mix ration filled up from that side I haven't been able to get any straw in here. I tried with loose straw, I tried with straw pellets, I tried from a trailer and I tried from a mixing wagon. And I couldn't get the trigger to come up for straw, so I'm not 100% sure where that is. Um, but it's a nice looking building. I'm, I'm just, there's going to be something obvious that I'm missing, or it's going to be a particular point where the trigger is. You know, it's going to be a, a fine trigger point. Now, the thing about it being as well, if we go into our menu and go across to animals, I think I put 10 in this one. It doesn't say anything about cleanliness. Uh, you've got water and straw pellets, or straw. Tomics rations in. They're at 90% productivity. Uh, it says slurry, milk. Obviously, there's no manure being produced because I haven't got any straw in there. But I don't know where any, I don't know where anything comes from. I'm assuming that slurry, milk, no idea um, where you get it from. So, yeah, <laughs> tricky one, to say the least. Uh, this you will find under placeables and animal pens. The cow shed is 45,500. Uh, the slot count will go from 13 to 1. While we're in here, we'll have a look at the next one. So that was by Tomacek and Raphael5211. Now we've also got the pack of old medium cow shed with pasture, which is these two here. So you've got with pasture, we'll take 30 cows. Without pasture, we'll take 20. Same price, obviously without the pasture, takes up less room, but obviously you can only have you have 10 cows less in there. 100 grand for each one. This is 20.34 megabytes download. Slot count is 20 for each of those, which obviously you can see has dropped down to one because I have got one of each just over here. I did check because weirdly on the website, it shows the capacity as being 13. Uh, so yeah, but it is 30. 30 for the pasture, 20 for the one without pasture. I managed to get everything in this one because as you can see the manure is appearing here so the one with the pasture if we go around the milk point is there light switch does work because we've got lights on inside tomix ration in this section here straw in this section here but you had to have the tip on this side so whichever way you're coming in or out tip left tip right i tried tip back it didn't like it so for the straw that was where it needed to tip into. Water is through this side, and the water trough is here. 
and your slurry point is there. Uh, the dialog box for this particular one with the pasture is here on the corner. So where you've got the gap in the fence, that's where your dialog box is for your cows on the one with pasture. The one without, the trough is on the front here. As we can see, the manure appears there on the ground. The slurry point is around the side. It's the same in here for your feed. Feed is over there, straw is down that side. And this one, the dialog box, is here. I think it was here at the door. There we go. So this is the one that will hold 20. Nicely detailed. Everything seems to be working as it should be. Everything's kind of fairly clear. You know, I wasn't sure where the manure would appear, so I had to run it for a couple of hours just so we got a little bit coming out. Um, but if we go into the menu and we go to that one's 20, that one's 30, so that's with pasture, without pasture. Production's fine. Everything's looking rather nice. So that's the pack of old medium cow shed with pasture. Oh, that's by Viola Visco TV. Sorry, I didn't say who it was by, did I? Viola Visco TV. Moving on from there, we'll have a look at these next, I think. I'm not quite sure what order I'm going to do this all in, but anyway. Uh, we have got the Massey Ferguson 265. This is by KZ Modding. It's nine slots on console, 13.45 megabytes download. There's a four-wheel drive option. There's a two-wheel drive option. There's a two-wheel drive with narrows. Um, that's all part of the same thing. These aren't separate mods in the mod type. It's all one mod. Very nicely made, nicely detailed. The colour scheme, I went with... Um, Oh, what was it I went with? Hardy. Because the hardy red made it look a little bit more old and weathered. It comes standard with a kind of a brighter red, but I liked the look of that. Um, that was, again, just my own personal preference. You don't have to do that. So this you'll find under vehicles and small tractors. 38,600 for the base model. Slot count of nine comes down to one for any subsequent one you get. 65 horsepower. We can change the rim colour. We've got a standard, we've got a standard matte. The standard matte gave it an almost kind of glossy, I know it's a matte finish, but I, that's nice. I like that a lot. Um, then we've got a black, black matte, cream, white, or orange. Now the thing about this is the design colour. You can pick anything you like off that palette. So you can really customise it to make your Massey Ferguson your own. If you don't want to keep it in a Massey Ferguson red, that's entirely up to you. Configuration on the front, we've got standard or we've got a 95 kilogram weight. Those are the two options on that. Then wheel set up, we've got standard, two wheel drive version, two wheel drive with narrows. Let's hop in. Beacon off to the side, lights, there's no opening doors or windows on this, it's just a nice looking little massy. Interior, you sit quite high and back so the front windscreen looks a bit small, I think because you're quite a long way away from it. But a win all, not a bad little massy that. Plus by KZ Modding. Moving on from there. I'm going to look at the first of the levelers we've got for today. This is the Tap Tapan Leveler by EY Modding. 0 0.65 megabytes download, one slot on console. I mean, basically, it's like a huge girder. Uh, RSJ, however you want to, I-beam, depends where you're from, how you refer to it. You can have this with weight, you can change the colour, and this is supposed to be a leveller for clamps. Now, we've got another levelling system we're going to be looking at. Depends what I do for the thumbnail, you've probably already seen it. Um, this you will find under tools and levellers. The Tapan leveller, two grand to buy, 3.5 metres wide. Uh, it's on one slot anyway, but like I said, we can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Weights, no. 200 kilogram, 400 kilogram or off. Now I put it on the front because the picture on the website showed it on the front. I, you could probably put it on the back, but it, I suppose it makes more sense on the front. It's always difficult to know with levellers. Oh no, that's levelling pretty well. Drop that down. Although we got stuck. Yeah, that's levelling pretty well, isn't it? Oh, 
Although... What I just noticed... Right, so that says fill level chaff and compacting. That one's not giving me a compacting. Why is that one not working? That's odd. So I was thinking, it seems to be levelling, but it's not telling me if I'm compacting or not. So we raise that up, raise that up. Can we adjust it manually? We can. We've got a little bit of adjustment, so we can get a, a slightly different height if we want to, but that's levelling very well. Let's drive off there and see if it comes back up again, whether it's to do with the mod itself or whether it's the silo that's playing up. How bizarre. That one's fine. That one, nah, not so much. Okay. Well, the level itself is working admirably. Um, that's the Tapan Leveler by EY Modding. Moving on from there, I'm going to need this. We have got the Lizard Weeder. Now, as I've said before, on uh, when I do mod reviews, I don't run weeds. I haven't done sort of from the early when it came out on FS19. I don't usually do them. I'll show you the weeder. I, what, I mean, when the weeders weed, they take the weeds out. I, I just don't. I don't do weeds. Let's just put it that way. No, it doesn't help very much. This is how the weeder comes. This is by Unorbi and Kiskasi97, 9.39 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. So for transportation down the road, it comes like that, and you hook up on the end. And when you get where you're going, we hook up to the three point. Then we fold that away, like that puts the wheels to one side and then if you had weeds in amongst your crops you drop it down it's a manual weeder and it will do your weeding for you so this you'll find under tools and weeders six meters wide only four grand not too bad really is it runs at nine miles per hour and requires 45 horsepower so for a mechanical weeder it's not a bad bit of kit, that is it. Very nice detailed. So, there you go. That's by Unorbi Kizgashi97. Next, we have got the Raba Bluebird Blue Boyd Bluebird 6000. This is a six metre cultivator, I think six metre, by SMI modding team 13.3. 73 megabytes download 11 slots on console and you can have a couple of configurations on three configurations i think on this you can have it front mounted which adds wheels to the front and you can run it front mounted you can have it rear mounted like that or rear mounted with cage rollers now you can have the front mounted option and you it does give you the option to put cage rollers on however that wouldn't work because the cage rollers will come out to here and then you won't be able to hook up properly so whilst it gives you the option to do it i I don't think you would, realistically. Um, these will unfold. We'll have a look at those in just a second. You'll find them under cultivators. So the Bluebird 6000, 35 grand, 6 metres wide, requires 170 horsepower, run at 9 miles per hour. The main colour is for the shanks underneath. We can change them to all blue or black underneath. Then you've got attached back, so that's the rear mounted or attach front, which puts the three-point link that side and wheels at the front. If I go back to attach back, you can have without roller or with roller. Now you see how far that comes out, and that's my point. If I go to attach front, that those rollers would be under the wheels, so you probably wouldn't run it with cage rollers if you put it on the front. So, let's hop in, start it up. Front one, unfold first. So if we're going down the road, it's not much wider than an average size tractor obviously the smaller the tractor the further out it's going to stick out but it still folds up so it's nice and easy for transport rear one with the cage rollers let's unfold that nice smooth animation really nicely detailed mods these 
all the springs and bolts and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, very nice. So what we'll do is we'll drop the front one down. There we go. Now, do you need the cage roller? Cage roller? You don't need it, in all honesty, because you're still going to get the cultivated look, whether you have it or not. But some people prefer to go for the full thing because it's a more um, complete system and it's more realistic to have the roller on there. So on the rear, I'll place like that. A little bit of bounce on the tines there, on the springs as they go across the ground. Very nice. So, there we have it. That's the Raba Bluebird 6000 by SMI Modding Team. Very nice. Which brings me on to the last of the months for today, I think. Unfortunately, I didn't go to the map tour yesterday, the map that came out. Um, I'm hoping to get it done. I don't, I'm not sure when. Estancia Sao Carlos by Dayton Enrique was out yesterday. I didn't quite get to that, so I will try. But the last of the mods for today is this. I read this on 17, I think. I'm sure we did. This is the Roa system by BM Modding featuring Wopster. It's 9.23 megabytes download and it comes as a bit of, of a pack with all sorts of stuff. So we have got this on the front is the Resc... No, it's down as Magna and then Magma. So it's down two different spellings depending on where you're looking at it. It says Magna under the description, but then when you go into the mod hub to get it, it says Magma. But anyway, that's the Rec Magna Magma front attachment. This is the silage plate that's two slots that's six slots we've then got the rear weight uh which is three slots back weight we've got front weight which is one slot now there's a few different configurations with these and the purpose behind that being you can run this system if you want with weights and that running at the front which is supposed to compact and level everything far quicker the more weight the better but if you use that hook this tow system the rower tow system we can hook up to another tractor and when you go up and down the clamp you're actually pushing and pulling another tractor so you're doubling the weight of the gear that you're putting across the whole clamp um it's an interest it's an interesting setup now it does say and i couldn't find the option for this it says to pull tractors first connect the hook of the back weight to the front weight so back weight to the left to the front weight uh, and then unlock the hook so it can move freely. I couldn't find an option to unlock the hook. But it seem, seems to pull. I haven't been over the clamp with it yet, actually, so we're, we're going to see how this works. Now, there's also something to bear in mind with this on the front. Uh, bear with me a second. And it's this. When we go into the options to look at this, which is the silage plate, the silage plate comes with the option for extra weights, which is what I initially went for. With the extra weights... I can't get the silage plate to hook up to the Resc Magna. Um, so I then got another op version of it without the weights and it hooked up fine, which is the one I've got out there. So what I'll do is show you. I'll lower it down. I've tried it lower down, I've tried it up. Nothing comes up to hook. I'll raise it. I've done it with the um, side flaps open and closed nothing so just be aware of that if you are going to pick this you might want to go for the silage plate without weights um, if you want that to hook up on the front it's just i don't know if it will get an update to, to resolve that issue but that's just what i found while i was doing it so as far as we go for the actual pack itself if we go to levelers we've got the it's saying magma there so the magma is 3590 requires 10 horsepower 2.5 meters wide no options available on color or anything the silage plate that it attaches to is there three meters wide ah oh, it's probably the that's what it is isn't it it's the resc magna but under here it's down as rick magna <laughs> unbelievable anyway that's one of those spellings is correct um, so, the silage plate itself, you can have it just as a distributor like that. That's what you want it as if you want to attach the front resc to it. But then you can have it 2,000 kilogram weight, 
3,600 kilograms, 4,800 kilograms or off. Um, I think it was as soon as it pushed that front section out, it didn't like it. So, like I say, just something to bear in mind. And then the other bits are under weights. So the front weight is there. 2,000 to buy. You can have it 2,000 kilogram, 2,300, 2,600, and back. This is the beast, the back weight. 4,900 to buy, 4,000 kilogram, 5,700 kilogram, or 7,400 kilogram. To get this whole system to work well, you're going to need some big tractors. That's kind of why I went for the big tractors. So, bear with me again. Let's circle this up and see if I can get it to work. <laughs> see if I can get it to work. Um, right. So this should now, like I say, because I've got the standard version, there you go, it comes up straight away, lets me hook up to it. We then hook up to the rear weight, which I went, I went for the full weight on, on the ones I could. Now, I'm going to open the help menu because we've got a whole load of options here. So I can put that down. I can also swing it side to side. I'm wondering whether or not on console it's already unlocked, possibly. That could be why. It's not, I have got no option at all for locking or unlocking. If I drop that down, let's try for a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. So what I'm trying to do now is hook into that hook there. Now this can extend as well. Uh, extend front loader arm. So depending on where your vehicle is, what you can extend it to. So what I'm going to do is hopefully... Come on. There we go. Hook that in. Drop that down. We're now hooked to the tractor behind. It's got a bit of a spring-loaded feel to it. You're going to need a lot of oomph because it really struggles. I mean, it's a big tractor I'm pulling behind, to be fair, as well. So, we switch to the front, then. We can raise and lower that weight. Like so. But then we can also switch to that. Lower distributor, which is what we'll do when we get onto the clamp. We can turn that on. I, I don't know how efficient this is going to be at compacting in comparison to other things it should it should be very good you think about the amount of weight we're putting across this thing let's lower that down although i'm struggling to get any purchase whatsoever come on come on now can we get out of the tractor <laughs> Blimey. We're going to some serious horsepower tractors, isn't you? We've got a lot of weight on this. Trying to get a bit of forward momentum. There we go, we're on the clamp. Blimey. <laughs> That's... It is levelling very well. I haven't even put the leveller down itself. I'm just using the, the rotating there. I mean, we... Are we compacting any faster than you would do normally? Actually, it's going pretty, pretty quick, isn't it, really? So very little movement. 14. I mean, I haven't got a huge amount in here, to be fair. 15. 16. Yeah, it's going up at a fair speed. Um, now, I may not be using it perfectly. I may not be using it exactly how it should be being used. That to me seem like the most logical way of setting it all up and getting it to work we are pulling a second tractor over the clamp as well at the same time and because the silage clamps silos are fairly straight normally going backwards and forwards it doesn't seem to be losing any direction it just it seems to be alright as far as I can tell wow crazy bit of kit isn't it so let's turn that off I think I think that was right from what I can work out anyway. Um, that's the rower system by BM Modding and Wopster. And that's it for the mods for today, and that's it for the mods for another week, unless we get any surprise ones at the weekend, which happens every now and again. I hope you have a lovely weekend, whatever you end up doing. Um, and I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.